First, select the Type tool from the toolbar and type out your desired text. I'm using a stylish font that you can download from the link in the video description, so make sure to check that out to follow along exactly. Once your text is ready, right-click on the text layer in the Layers panel and choose Rasterize Type to convert the text into an editable shape. Now select the Rectangular Marquee tool and draw a selection around the letter G, or any letter you want to modify. Once selected, right-click inside the selection and choose Layer via Cut to separate that letter into its own layer. This gives you full creative control over that character. Click on the M layer and again select the Rectangle tool from the toolbar. Draw a rectangle in a contrasting color to create a visual design element. Now select both the letter and the rectangle layers, right-click, and choose Merge Layers to combine them into one. Go back to the G layer and drag it slightly to the left for an overlapping effect. Then press Ctrl PL plus J to duplicate this layer and hide this for now. Holding Control. Click on the Visible G Layer thumbnail to load its selection. With the selection active, click on the M layer. Go to the Select, Modify, Expand option and increase the selection by around 7 pixels for a nice overlap. Once expanded, press the Delete key to remove that overlapping part from the M layer. Then press Ctrl plus D to deselect. This creates a stylish cutout effect. Delete the topmost layer you don't need anymore. Then use the Eraser tool on the M layer to soften or refine any edges for a cleaner look. Now unhide the previously hidden G duplicate layer. Select both the edited G and M layers and merge them together. To enhance your logo, grab the Rectangle tool once again and draw an additional shape to complement the design. Use the Type tool to add a subtitle or tagline below your logo. Open the Character panel from the Window menu and adjust the tracking, letter spacing, to make the subtitle visually appealing and balanced. Before finalizing, hide the background layer, then click on the topmost visible layer and press Ctrl, plus Alt, plus Shift, plus E to create a flattened stamp of your entire design. Copy it using Ctrl, plus C. Now it's time to bring your logo to life. Open your mock-up file, double-click on the Smart Object layer, and paste your logo using Ctrl, plus V. Once done, close and save the Smart Object window. Your logo will now appear professionally placed on the mock-up. And there you go. You've successfully created a professional modern logo in Photoshop with depth, dimension, and visual appeal. Perfect for branding, portfolios, or client work. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more high-quality Photoshop tutorials. Turn on the bell icon so you never miss a creative trick. And if you found this helpful, share it with your designer friends.